We have compiled the largest and girthiest individuals on Madden 22 to create the thickest team of all time. The expectation is Super Bowl, and the failure to do so will result in the completion of the Fitness Gram Pacer Test is a multi-stage aerobic capacity test that progressively gets more difficult as it continues. Nah, I'm just kidding. But, but, we will take out the leader of the thick boys and list 20 William Perrys for 250 coins. To give an understanding of how big this team actually is, the total weight of the starting lineup came out to 8,502 pounds or 315 pounds per player. Some of the biggest players being Bryant McKinney at 360 pounds, Leonard Davis at 355, and the biggest player, Trent Brown at right tackle, 380 pounds. But now that you've seen the squad, let's hop into that Super Bowl run. However, during week one, we find ourselves down 13-0 to really a toter. He's got Bo Nose activated on William Perry, and we're gonna have to see how much fight this squad truly has in them. Third down and three, our opponent hands off to his William Perry, and somehow we find a way to make him come up short on third and three. Our opponent is gonna punt us the ball. We had scored zero points throughout the entire game, but luckily for us, we're on the board. Larry Allen, four verticals, just like that. It's 13 to seven. Third and 12 on the ensuing drive from our opponent. Wide receiver can't get the feed in bounds. He's gonna punt us the ball again. And we really flipped the switch this game. We're going to go on a money drive of our own. William Perry to William Perry. And we're going to win this game 14 to 13. That is going to propel this little thick squad. Or should I say little? This big thick squad to go undefeated 7-0 during the regular season. We're going to find ourselves in the divisional matchup. Because we got that buy. So we don't have to win that wildcard game. Divisional matchup up next. And early on into this divisional matchup. Steelers, Patriots, our defense is going to find a way to make a statement. He is. I'll take it the right away. Pick. Let's go, Calvin. Way to play that. Calvin Johnson, free safety. I want to say 6'5", around 240-250. Going to get on the board with a pick six, and that really is going to, I'd say, speak for the rest of this game as on the very next drive, 4th and 11, we're going to get some pressure. He can't get the throw off with Kenny Pickett. I know, kind of odd. Kenny Pickett on the Patriots playing the Steelers. Our opponent is going to quit out, and we're going to advance to the conference championship. Popping into the conference championship, we've got Steelers versus Steelers. I'm in the Bumblebee jerseys, and I'm going to be honest with you guys from the jump. Our opponent really just was not matched up with me correctly. I don't know what the ELO system was going on. He's going to throw on the first play of the game, an overthrow to Carl Banks, and his team really couldn't match up with my team. We're going to throw a streak to Etu Tall Jones. I want to say that's the team of the year, Trayvon Diggs, Etu Tall Jones. Way too fast, way too tall. We're going to hit stick. We're going to get an interception, and next thing you know, it's going to be 20 or 14 nothing, Avita Vey, a little jurdle into the end zone, 21 nothing, and our opponent is eventually going to end up quitting out. So here we go. The Super Bowl matchup is going to be Cowboys Steelers. A little bit of a throwback Super Bowl. Cowboys Steelers, I want to say, have met a few times in the Super Bowl. We're going to start on offense, and I'm going to go to one of my favorite plays. I want to say it's PA Dig Fork. We're going to stay in the pocket, though, this time and finally hit Dave Robinson over the top of that cover three defense. And we're going to find ourselves inside the five yard line when we throw this absolute laser. Let's go. Triangle of death. R-B-A-Y. Simple. Triangle read. R-B. R-B's there. He's going to wait. Throw it. Possession. Larry. Great hands. Great hands. And after a long and grueling drive from our opponent, a third down and goal play action will end up falling incomplete. And it puts our opponent in a little bit of a tricky situation, being fourth down and goal, and he doesn't really want to take three. I like this defense. There's nothing. There's nothing. Ed. The cloud flat played it. Shades of James Harrison on the goal line. A goal line pick six from Ed to Tall Jones. But our lead would evaporate fast as this was a game of runs. Our opponent low play action. He's going to check down to Pat Farmer. And well, I can confidently say I am one of the worst open field tacklers in Madden 22. Pat Farmer is going to run all the way down and really just a simple check down. A five yard, probably should have been a five yard completion. Ends up being an 80 yard touchdown, 14 to 7. And then one of the worst reads I've ever made to Javon Curse, a user lurk. From our opponent is going to tie the game up at 14 and 14 but we're gonna have to bounce back now third and goal let's go to old reliable inside cross high low larry allen vita vea nothing's there make a play vita no rb's wide let's go i told you this was going to be a game of runs and well there's no bigger momentum shift in this play right here let's go play underneath play. Get back. leave me our vita oh my god I'm going to throw a replay on the screen of that play. I'm not really going to talk about the sheer athleticism from Vita Vey, but I mean, a throw into a swat and into a doink of the lineman's helmet. 
into the former Washington Huskies hands and just like that we retake kind of our 14-0 lead now 28 to 14 and our opponent now is going to come back on a long drive again second and goal he's going to look right throw right he finds I want to say that is Mike Ditka his other tight end on the roster and it's 28 21 and well at the end of the half I'm going to make a crucial crucial mistake we got to go we got to go though we got to go we got to go we got to go all right here we go I'm just winding down Oh, he lurked me. That was probably the worst case scenario for the Thick Boys going possibly up 35-21. Now it's 28 all. And our opponent does start the ball with the ball in the second half. He's going on a drive of his own. Now I'm going to show you this play. Calvin Johnson, I have in a purple zone. He's going to get the completion over the middle. He's going to no huddle to the line of scrimmage. He's not going to make any audibles or checks to any of his wide receivers. I'm assuming he's running the same play. I'm going to flat to the left. I'm going to keep Calvin Johnson in the yellow one. Well, He's going to make a play. You got to put your playmakers in positions to make plays. And well, that's what Calvin Johnson does. Later on, when we get that ball, drive down third and four. William Perry is going to find himself into the end zone. And now our opponent stuck really at third and 22. Backed up on his own goal line. A check down to the running back, Bo Jackson. Fourth and six, game in the line. I get stuck on the defensive lineman. The tackle actually being, I want to say, Jordan Davis. He's going to find Deion Sanders over the middle. And well, he's going to put together a drive. One minute and 30 seconds left. Mike, get, Mike Ditka, corner route, jukes out my defensive back. And well, second and goal, play action, looking right. He's going to roll right. I thought I could have maybe got there as a user or one of my players committed to play. Fortunately, he's going to get into the end zone. But to my surprise, well, he's going to go for it. Oh my God, he's going for two. He's going for two. Hold up. I know what he wants to do. I'm going to man up the tight end. Let's just pray that William Perry plays it. Oh, I'm in the wrong formation. What a play. What a pull was that? A very, very questionable play call on the goal line. Even though there was 50 seconds left, I was assuming I was going to go on a money drive. Bryant McKinney, one of the biggest players on the team, is going to make the biggest play in the Super Bowl. Two-point conversion. He swats the ball away from the slot receiver. And just like that, 20 William Perrys will not be getting quick sold. We're going to go on to win the Super Bowl. If you enjoyed this video, don't be afraid to hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button if you are new. And until next time, peace.